Today in The Sims 4, we'll be building townhouses where one side will have the most expensive items and the other will have the cheapest. This is an ongoing series on my channel where we build two homes in opposite styles and see which one we prefer at the end. I'm a little nervous about this because both of these are going to be difficult. On one hand, the expensive items in this game are known to be a little tacky and definitely over the top, whereas the cheaper items, they can also kind of get a little weird, but we're going to have more options with those. So starting with my shell today, we're going to be going three floors up. I'm building on a 30 by 20 lot in Windenburg and I'm just keeping it kind of simple for now. We can maybe do like a bump out here at the front, but I think this is going to be our general shape to start. I'm going to be using platform roofing for both of these today. So I'm going to go in and add these right on top just like that. And then I'm going to click on the platform that I made and raise it up just by a little bit. I like to make one of them a little taller than the others so maybe we'll go up slightly on the right one and then this one will just bring up like two ticks all right so i'm thinking we do most expensive on the left and then the right will be the cheaper one let's find some expensive wallpaper i know we've got some really funky wallpapers like this one but get famous has these bricks here which are on the higher end so i think i'm gonna cover the left side with these and for the right side i want to do more of like a worn out brick the cheapest wallpaper we have is around two simoleons and as you can see, there's a ton of them. She says as she picks literally the first option. We'll get some platform paint going on up here. And I think next we should look for windows. And I know Eco Lifestyle is going to come in clutch probably multiple times today. They have these windows, which are only 25. So I think I'm gonna be adding these maybe along the bottom. Actually, let's make this a medium wall height and I'm gonna bring these up top. Then we can use the longer skinny one under here. And for my door, is this really gonna be my only option here? I wish this Strangerville one came in black. Like we could probably get away with it in brown or we could go more modern with it. Let's try this one for now. I really thought this eco lifestyle one down here would be cheaper, but 115 simoleons versus 50? I don't think so. And then up top, I'm gonna have to use these ones here. Those are from Cottage Living. They're only 40 simoleons. And for fence options, these ones both are only 15. I'm gonna use the eco lifestyle one in black. Black. We're gonna use some cheap black trim around this whole thing here. And I'm actually changing that wallpaper to a darker swatch. I'm putting those long skinny windows along the sides and we'll do the back in a minute, but let's find a door for the expensive side. And the priciest ones I'm seeing are like 2,500, 1,400. But these ones, like 99% of your Sims won't be able to enter because this is a VIP door. So we can go with the one that doesn't have the rope. I do need to add a little bit of roofing here. So I'm gonna take a half gabled roof piece. I'm gonna bring it down and bring in the adjusters. And I'm actually gonna add that up here on my balcony. I'm just gonna do it on like two of the sides. So we'll raise it up so it meets the platform and we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll get some black metal paint. This is all free, but then we're gonna have like a cool feature up top. And I'm also gonna bring one down just for like this front part here. For trim, we're gonna use the most expensive options. So that's gonna be this. And for my fencing up top, I wanna use this one, except with my my roofing is gonna like hang over and look a little weird. So I need the most expensive, like shorter fence that I can find, which I think is gonna be this base game one here, but don't worry. This one's still gonna get some love, unfortunately. And for the expensive windows, I think the most expensive one in the game is this one here from Spot A, but it is like, Ugh, not my favorite at all. But I'm wondering if I put it there, if maybe we could pull it off as like a weird garage or something. Like it, it kind of looks like that door, you know? I really don't want to bring it up the side of the house. These ones here are 320 from base game. What if we tried these? A double bay window moment though? And then maybe we toss on one of these here. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna work. I have faith. <laughs> All right, next I wanna to start to build out the front of these. So I'm gonna grab some flooring. For the expensive side, I'm using this royal marble here from Get Famous. And for the other side, I think the cheapest flooring is $4. So maybe we could just use this one here from Journey to Batu. And I wanna bring out a fence. So I'm gonna use this one here. This is the most expensive one we have. I'm gonna bring it maybe to about here. And then we can add this marvelous gate. I was also thinking about adding like a little platform seating area in here, but I feel like this is gonna mess up everything. Ooh. 
maybe just a fence. I added some stairs and now we have a really cute platform area where I can put like a couch. I'm gonna save these ones for the interior, but the most expensive like outdoor kind of couch is this one. We'll add the priciest rug in the game. I just have to shrink it a little. Maybe with this ridiculous coffee table and one of these will just have to shrink it a little bit. I also wanna build out like a front part for this one. And one thing I know is that Debug has some free fences and I'm gonna use this here from base game. I'm just gonna line them up here at the front so they look like they're all connected. We'll also bring them along the side here. And I think this is gonna be really cute. It's gonna be a good way to add greenery for free. We can also raise up one of these debug free hanging planters. And while I'm here, I'm gonna start going along the back. And base game also has these like chain link fences. So I wanna build out like a little closed off backyard. We could even combine them with these. And then obviously for the expensive side, they're gonna get their really nice fence. <laughs> Maybe this time back here, we'll use some gravel flooring. And okay, what can I put back here for cheaper stuff? Ooh, these planters are only 30 simoleons. We also have this $25 chair here from the basement kit, but this actually acts as a table. Then we can grab this 40 simoleon plant, maybe like a tire here for seating. I feel like this one's gonna look a little grungy and like, I kinda like that. <laughs> oh, eco lifestyle debug also gonna be bringing in some good items like this table here. I know we've got these chairs too. Two. Oh, the bicycles are only 50 simoleons. Okay, I'm gonna put that like right outside here. And how about a cardboard dance floor? <laughs> are there any other cheap plants from Debug I could add? Oh, these, this is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna rotate that and we can put that over in this corner where we don't have anything going on. I don't think it's too bad. Like I said, I kinda like the grunge. It's giving like a city vibe. On this side, we're gonna be doing the pricey barbecue, this very expensive tree. This table is kinda like hiding in the middle, but it's 1300 simoleons. And I'm gonna add these get famous chairs here. Maybe on top of that, we do VIP bucket. The way the most expensive like outdoor trash can is a dumpster. I'm gonna just go ahead and use this one. And I'm also gonna build a little overhang over top of this as well. Okay, so after all the landscaping, this is what our townhouses are looking like. I feel like these turned out so cute. These might be my favorite townhouses we've done. They just look surprisingly very good together. But like, I feel like this might not be an uncommon thing to see. Especially when you're deep in this city, sometimes you'll just have a really nice looking one and maybe an older looking townhouse right beside each other. I don't think it's that weird. But this is what we've got going on for the back. I really like how the yards turned out back here. I added a walkway here using like base game. We've got our backyard for the cheap side here. And over to the right, I added the pergola over top, some really cute fairy lights. And I also added a telescope. But yeah, especially like with the city in the background. I don't know, I really like how how this looks. Let me show you the floor plan that I made. They're pretty similar. So both of these are gonna have a living room and a kitchen here. We're gonna have bathrooms over to the back. Then upstairs, we're gonna have a hallway here and these are gonna be bedrooms. And then going up again, we're gonna have a penthouse bedroom up top, both with a bathroom. Which side should we start with? I feel like we should get the expensive one out of the way. Let's maybe start over here with the kitchen. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of this like base game stuff here this like high tech kitchen appliances. Also along those lines, these base game counters are the most expensive. I feel like we're due for some really good, like expensive items in this game. Like I wonder if the next pack we get will be more like expensive items. Cause it's been a while since we've had something like that. I hate the wallpaper that I'm using in here, but it's literally the most expensive one. I had to do it. We can try and hide it as much as possible with like some cabinets, but they're too high. Ooh, but I like how these corner pieces look. Okay, we've got our essentials. Now we need to decorate with like the other expensive things. Like I know these plates are very expensive. Maybe I can shrink them and put them like right there. Oh, I don't mind the wine bottles though. Maybe we can put some of these like right here. We'll get the expensive trash can. Actually, I feel like I could maybe wrap this around still. I'm gonna build my island out this way. Then we can get those pricey chairs and maybe we can add like a big chandelier in the middle here too. Oh, I moved someone in and it's fallen my game and look at it with the leaves on the ground. I can't wait for fall. I'm so ready. We're gonna also add the expensive tea set. Oh, we could also get a microwave. We should also add like a dishwasher and a coffee maker. Oh, and we'll get an expensive laptop on there too. Maybe we can hide some of the tacky wallpaper with some mirrors. I feel like that helps a little bit. Oh God, the curtain options. Okay, I think we're gonna move from here. Let's try and do like a dining room maybe. So we're gonna grab the most expensive table 
which is this one. Or maybe we should do the smaller version of that. I don't want it to be like you walk in and the dining table is like right there. Ooh, we're gonna have to use the pricey art too. I hate it. We'll add the golden fruit bowl as the centerpiece, of course. Oh my gosh, we haven't even added a knight yet. We'll add two of them. Oh, He's going swimming. Anytime we do expensive builds on my channel, I get like flashbacks. We've done some hefty ones here on this channel, but okay, I think I'm gonna leave this room like this. Like I said earlier in the beginning, it's tacky. It's definitely tacky. Who has their house like this? But there is our dining room and our kitchen. Let's move from here over to the bathroom. And for the bathroom, we have to go with a 12,000 simoleon tub, obviously. We've also got the golden toilet, but I think I'm gonna take it in maybe like let's just do white we've got this expensive sink here too we'll use this mirror here some toilet paper and i feel like this is going to be a good place to put some art <laughs> should i add vlad how creepy is that over the bathtub maybe they like it i kind of like it in a weird way i'm gonna try and shrink this as my bath mat here oh and i think i'm gonna add this little towel rack here from get famous with this shelf which is expensive apparently i've added some clutter up there and you know what this bathroom isn't too bad i actually kind of like it and you know what Vlad will let you stay this time okay I think before we go upstairs let's go over and do this side here this is gonna be again the cheap side and I use this wallpaper over here which is from Journey to Batu, but I kind of like how it looks especially as like an accent wall so for kitchen stuff we're probably looking at the used fridge from City Living we've got the used counters here but also for $20 more we've got these from Horse Ranch which I feel like we can make that stretch our oven again Again, gonna be a used one and I wonder if I could bring these counters over to this side as well I just don't know what I'm gonna do about that awkward corner back there on here we could use this shelf from eco lifestyle it's only 20 simoleons and this is where we're gonna stack with our clutter we've got some five simoleon rugs here <laughs> rugs I mean mugs there's also some debug coffee we could put this is just from base game and it's free what else we got some flour maybe this random like clay teapot and there we go all the clutter we added on there was Free. We're also going to add some of the horse ranch cabinets. I still need something back in there. Wait, these are only 25 simoleons. Okay, I'm going to add these shelves back here from Dream Home Decorator. For cheap decor, we have these like wooden handcrafted holiday things. And I mean, holidays aren't that far away now. Plus, these are really cute and cheap. I'm going to put those right there. Oh, we have this item too. I could maybe do that. I'm running out of kitchen room. Maybe I could put that like right in between there. We could add one of the free and nifty knitting rugs right by the sink and for my trash can we have this one I'm just gonna put that right at the edge there cute okay we still need a dining table so I'm gonna put that probably like right here Ooh, for cheap ones again we can use the refurbished table I love this I don't know why I love the retro feel of it we can maybe put our table like right here or even like facing this way would it be weird to have a free crystal <laughs> centerpiece I don't think so this snowy escape rug is only 15 simoleons I'm gonna put that right here and then over in this corner we've got this jungle adventure table we could use we've got these 25 simoleon tvs we could maybe even make it bigger if we wanted although then it looks a little weird on my table so maybe not oh wait we have to use this this is from the basement kit maybe i'll use that as my table instead if i can move this window over i could maybe put it there i've got my eco lifestyle couch there and now i've added my tv we're gonna size it up and i feel like i could add some of these lamps here too yeah these ones are only 55. Wait, these wall decals are only five simoleons. I am also going to be adding one of these cheap bookshelves over here, along with this even cheaper bookshelf. And for curtains, I'm going to add these blinds here, I think. Okay, I think this looks so cute so far. I knew we were going to love this one. I think near the front door, I'm going to use this cheap laundry hutch here, maybe just with some more like cheap shelving. And okay, I feel like we're ready to move into the bathroom. This one is already my favorite. I feel like it's just so much easier to decorate this way. But over in here, I already carved out a spot in the back there because I know this is gonna be the shower we're gonna have to use. It's only 300 simoleons. It's the cheapest option we've got. For the toilet, I'm gonna use this one. We also have this option, but like, do I really wanna add a wooden toilet? And I wanna use curtains that actually like cover, but none of them are long enough. So maybe we can just assume that these like pull down all the way. For my sink, I'm just gonna use the cheapest one we've got, which is 120. Maybe we can use this eco lifestyle mirror here. 
and we'll just put that one over the sink. And for towels, the cheapest ones we have here are from Get Together. I kind of just want to put like a picture on the wall, although we're kind of limited for like art options. So maybe I'll just use these clothing hooks as decor. <laughs> maybe just as a little extra something, we'll put this beside the sink. Okay, here is our bathroom. A little boring, but I'm definitely preferring this side so far. Let's go upstairs. And next we're going to do the hallways here and some bedrooms. Starting over here with the expensive side, I'm nervous because we have to use those couches. We've got a couple options. We've got these ones. These ones are like very expensive or we've got these ones which have like a few more swatches. I'm going to try the very expensive ones. We're going to do one of these ridiculous bookshelves over here and maybe one of the expensive fireplaces. I think I'm going to mount a TV on there. So I'm going to delete these walls for now. I'm going to shrink the most expensive TV and we're just going to raise it up so it's kind of like covering that mirror there. We're bringing back the awful curtains. I think we're also going to have to use one of these like thrones here with the very expensive coffee table in the middle. What else do we have? We've got this vintage glamour lamp. It's so big. Maybe I can put that over in the corner or like beside the couch here. I'm adding some more expensive art and we're going to add these trophies in here. For some reason, they're very expensive. We've also got the gold bars. I like to like hide these sometimes. Oh, and this. I actually really like this item. It's normally massive, but I like to size it down and use it as like a centerpiece. We could add some of this lighting here from Paranormal as well. I guess this is going to be our living room. It's so gold, but like that yellowy gold, you know? Okay, let's move on to the bedroom. And I was thinking about doing a pink one in here. We're still going to have the main bedroom upstairs. So this one, I thought we could do like a fun color with it. Our bed is going to have to be one of these pricey ones. I actually really like the pink one. 15,000 simoleons for that. Let's do these like expensive pedestals here as my end table with this base game lamp. I'm going to use this rug here under my bed and I was thinking we could maybe use these curtains here for the windows. Okay, over to this side, we're going to add one of the most expensive dressers or actually I never use this one. This is like the most expensive one in the game. I feel like this one's going to match our vibe a little better and I love how small this one is. This way I could angle it over here and we could add a desk. We'll grab this chair here from Discover University and we're going to put one of the most expensive computers in here. For mirrors, we have this one. This is like 9910. We actually have this plant, which is pretty up here. We could do maybe like put it on an angle like that. And maybe for under this, we'll use the more expensive plush rug from City Living. Ooh, for a skill item, we could use this 15,000 simoleon violin, which I'm just going to put up on this pedestal over here in the corner. This is either a kid's room or a teen's room. I might just put like a bear over there just because I needed something in the corner. And this is what our room number one is looking like. I definitely like this one a lot more than the other rooms in the house, especially this little area over here with the computer and like the makeup. Next, we need to move over to the cheaper side. And for cheap beds, we have these ones here from werewolves, which I actually think they're pretty cute. I'm going to use these over here. Maybe we could actually add two of them. Since we did like a kid or a teen room and the other one, maybe we could do that here too, which could be cute because for cheap skill items, we've got this here. This is like the scouting board from Outdoor Retreat. And we have the friendship bracelet kit, which we could add like a desk here. Maybe this really cheap one here from Werewolves. And we can just add like a couple friendship kits here. We'll grab a cheap $10 chair. Ooh, this shelf here from Eco Lifestyle. Actually, we could use both of them. There's that one there. And there's also like this one here. Maybe I can put that above that bed. Ooh, for cheaper rugs, we could use this one. This is only 50 simoleons and it's so cute. I think I'm going to use multiple of these little sheepies. Or should I just make the one sheep like massive? We also have some fun decals here. And like, what if we did a woodsy theme for this kid's room or even a fall theme? Because we have these here from Seasons. We could line the ceiling with these and we could use these cheap pumpkins here as decor. Oh, we've also got these ceiling things here. These are only 30 simoleons. I might actually like angle these like we can put one this way and maybe one over here too. Oh, we could add this owl back backpack. This is only 75. And I think for the dresser, I'm going to add this here from Horse Ranch. And we'll just add in some of those hanging clothes there. The only thing I really need to add in here is kid toys, which a lot of them are pretty pricey. I'm going to add in though, like we could do Yarny here. We could do some of these bears. We could add a creepy Grim Reaper toy up here. And actually these pillows are pretty cheap too. So I'm just going to add like a few of them in the middle here. And I like this fall bedroom. I'm a little biased. I'm definitely that girl who's like 
obsessed with fall. I had my first pumpkin spice latte the other day and it was delicious <laughs> of the season, not real life. That would just be ridiculous. But this is our fall bedroom. Let's go and do the hallway over here. And I think we can maybe do like a cute seating area. We already have a TV downstairs, but what we don't really have a whole lot of is kids toys. But I don't mind giving these kids some toys here. I feel like on the other side, they're not gonna have like any toys. Their parents are probably so strict. Now I'm stuck on the fall theme though. So I'm just gonna add like some of these cheap leaf decor pieces maybe with one of these five dollar wall decals oh we have this cheap plant here too maybe i can put that like along this back wall all right here is our kids play area once again the cheap side is winning for me let's go and do the final rooms up here we're gonna do two more bedrooms and two bathrooms so going back over to the expensive side again we're gonna have to get that very pricey bed maybe we'll do a blue bed we'll grab these end tables and for art i actually don't mind these ones from cats and dogs maybe we can do two two like big ones on both sides of the door. And then for the dressers, I think we're gonna again use this one here, but maybe we'll do like a brown swatch. Let's use the jungle adventure mirror. And maybe we could even do another dresser. Like we can do the matching one, which is still pretty expensive. We really need to cover this window over here. So I'm gonna use those. My expensive plant options are so bad. Like maybe we'll just use that. Yeah, we are due for some expensive items in this game. I don't know what the theme could be around like expensive of things maybe like a band pack and you could have like a rock star like career path i could see some really expensive items coming into play there okay for clutter we still have these like really expensive gold frogs here i might put a couple oh the treasure chest too maybe i can put that like back here We're hiding our treasure over there i've also got this globe i'm gonna put that right here so here's our bedroom this is not bad actually i like the blue up here i feel like it's a nice change from like all the white we were using definitely giving it expensive and for the bathroom maybe we can use the next most expensive bathtub which is this one here we're still gonna use the gold toilet of course maybe we'll use it in black though my sink is gonna go right over here and i actually never got to use this item which i don't mind so i'm gonna put that maybe right there as decor okay our bathroom again isn't too bad not my fave with the wallpaper there but not the worst that's gonna be it for the expensive side and all we have to do now is pull together the cheap one, which I'm a little nervous about because my cheap bed options look like this. It's literally called the Dirty Double, but it is only 25 simoleons and the next best thing is 290. I wonder if I can make this look cute though. Okay, what if I tried to use this as a headboard? This is a debug fence from Cats and Dogs. It's giving industrial, at least we've got a headboard now. Maybe we add that there from Horse Ranch and you know what, we can work with this. We're totally overusing this like fluffy rug here, but for only 15 simoleons and it's one of my favorites. We gotta do it. We're gonna get some cheap plants on there. I've been using these a lot too. They're only 20 simoleons. And we're finally at the wall height to be able to use some regular curtains. We're gonna add a cheap stand-up mirror right here. And for my dresser, I think the cheapest option is still going to be these like makeshift ones. So maybe we could actually put two, like one here and one over here. Actually a fireplace would be so cute in here. I'm gonna put that right there. I wanna do some cheap chairs. Maybe we could do these 70s simoleon ones. Okay, so we have a seating area going on over here, a cozy little fireplace. We just have to fill in this area back here. So I just added another eco lifestyle shelf there, some more eco lifestyle decor, and these picture frames back here, which are zero simoleons. I also did again, just a very simple bathroom with the shower in there. We have the toilet and the sink over here. Again, I didn't want to spend too much money out here. So there we go. And that has been us using the most expensive versus the cheapest items in The Sims 4. I think we have a very clear winner here, but let me know which one you guys like the best. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.